So we're just going to go and have a look at a level three question on mitosis. So in this question, we're going to start off with, so the larvae of the hornet moths form when fertilized eggs divided by mitosis. So it tells you that you need to talk about mitosis in the question. So describe, most importantly, how mitosis produces two genetically identical cells. Right, so we're going to have to physically talk about the process of mitosis. So the first thing that we need to talk about is that the fact that the genetic material, so the DNA and the chromosomes are doubled, right, because you need to go and have double the amount of DNA if you're going to go and separate it out into two cells. It might also be worth talking about it, they make identical copies. You're then going to go and talk about the fact that the chromosomes are pulled apart, right? Remember that we're going and we're pulling them apart using those spindle fibers. Then the important part is, right, once the uh, the chromosomes, so half have been pulled to one end, half have been pulled to the other, the cytoplasm divides into two. The important part is you're talking about the cytoplasm, not the cell, right? Or the cell membrane goes and divides into two right uh, the proper name for that is cytokinesis so then finally the set of chromosomes in each new cell are identical to one another so the cells are genetically the same so they've got the same dna genes or alleles as each other right which is really important because in the question it talks about them being genetically identical right so that's just a few key things when answering this question 